many different styles of barbecue. Texas, Memphis, Chicago, and kosher? Huh? Yeah, I'm a little perplexed, but I'm hoping these guys will have the answer. We're at Milt's in Lakeview. I understand you guys are kosher barbecue. Correct. You can't have pork. You can't mix milk and meat. You have to buy meat from a kosher butcher that is slaughtered and prepared in a certain way. And you have a thriving barbecue-centric community that come in here, right? Oh, absolutely. This is very unique. They make um, kosher food fun. Where else can you get kosher barbecue? Nowhere else. Hands down, you gotta come. This place is named after your uncle. Uncle Milty. He was perplexed. Are you we all? There? Right, <laughs> exactly. He wasn't a fancy person. He loved people, and he would have loved this place. And normally right now I would ask you why you think of Chicago is best, but we had a couple of viewer suggestions. Sari and David both said that you guys donate 100% of your profits to charity. I wanted this restaurant to be more about community, about bringing people from different walks of life together. And each month we have a different charity of the month. We've given away a tremendous amount of money over the past three and a half years, and hopefully the next three and a half years, even more. Jeff does a lot of good for the community. We're helping local charities with our money. Every cent they make, they donate to charity. Order another platter. <laughs> Before we can do that, I need to cook one up with Chef Brian. What are we gonna do? What are we gonna make? Our smoked half chicken. The rub we have here is very unique and different from most barbecue. I don't put any sugar at all in it. I do go pretty heavy on the uh, paprika, onion and garlic powder, dry oregano and thyme. I like spice, so here's a little bit of cayenne. Dude, I'm all about the spice. <laughs> here's a little bit of chili powder, dry yellow mustard. Cheers. <laughs> Should have saved that for the next one because this is dry coffee. Okay, it's not gonna wake the chicken up again or anything. <laughs> oh, this is actually decaf. How Sorry. disappointing for the chicken. <laughs> all right. Uh, oh, and salt and pepper. A lot of places actually will recommend kosher chicken in general just because uh, it's already been brined, so it's already juicier and more flavorful. This is brought to you by the Kosher Chicken Council. <laughs> Oil, a quick mix, and we're ready to rub. So you're going a little heavy, which is fine. Well, that's mine. That does, what does that matter? Paprika is very bitter. Okay. And it's got the mustard and the coffee. Right. What, did it get overlooked for other jobs or something? Yeah, it got a job with ABC. Ah, oh, sorry. <laughs> Brian's bringing the heat, and it's about to get even hotter. After a two and a half hour smoke, these chickens are ready to eat. Steven was the general manager here. If you can think of a really funny, why did the chicken cross the kitchen to get into the smoker joke? Because they know Brian was working on it and they ran. I, de I detect some kind of front of house, back of house tension. Are you ready? You're going full on barbecue. I am. With the fingers. That special rub, that doesn't need any sugar in there. I don't know how he does it. It's succulent, it's juicy. That's a sexy kosher chicken. It is. You take the great chicken, we have the right rubs, and it does become a traditional barbecue. Great food, amazing mission. Most importantly, I'm no longer perplexed. And that's a good thing. Milts, normally I'd say cheers, but l'chaim. L'chaim.